What's up, YouTube? Prince Simba here, back with a 3k damage badge video. I end up with 11 kills and 3.6k damage in this game, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. So, if you're hunting for that coveted 3k or 4k damage badge, pay attention. You're gonna have to have a game sort of like mine. And, like always, if you enjoy this video, like and subscribe, leave a comment if you want more videos like this. And if you want this content live, you can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash prince793. We are currently in Diamond and are grinding to hit Master this season in Ranked. So come through and say what's up. So, till next time guys, enjoy the game. So here I'm just landed. I think, I think I saw two people land on the other side. So I'm just looting quickly. And hopefully I can do some damage real quick. Get a knock or two. So I know one's about to run across. I see him, triple take, triple take. Boom, boom. I can hear his teammates in front of me, so I just switched to my Spitfire since I don't want to use my triple take at close range, even though you sort of can. I know the Bangalore is under me because I see her, and then I just kind of full send because it's a duos. And then I just one clip her with the Spitfire, easy clap. So obviously here I just have the Spitfire and Triple Take. Those are just two guns that are not terribly hard to use and I got them off spawn so you know I'm not gonna be very picky. Um, Cause I knew I had to, I knew I had to fight so. So I needed a gun but you know, ideally my gun layout, especially at least while on Olympus was Hemlock, Mastiff. Hemlock with the two times. Mastiff obviously with the best bolt I can find. And as you see here, I find it pretty quick. So I find my combo, and then so basically after that first fight, from then on, you know, I get my gun, and I'm ready to go from this point on. A little struggling to get up there. Y'all didn't see that. But yeah, like any other damage video that's out there, you know, you're gonna need guns that you're comfortable with, can output high damage, and that is probably at least ammo that's common enough so that you don't, you know, you don't run out. So like guns, maybe like care package weapons are not really useful if you're gonna run them for long times. Maybe end game. But if you're going to be running around fighting for a lot of the game, you know, and you're like actively trying to get high damage, probably use, you know, the guns you're most comfortable with, uh, as well as, you know, not bad guns, which is just common sense. <laughs> and do your best to, you know, always be looking for fights. Don't just camp. If you're trying to get one of these, you're probably in, you know, not ranked games so just you know hunt for the damage hunt for the battles and just keep fighting so here i hear a team and we just roll up i take a good angle i see the gibby my teammate slides all the way in and gets shot in the back by a mastiff so I know it's just a 1v1. I took like seven, I took 50 damage, and now it's just a 1v1 Mastiff fight. I missed my jump shot, but then I recover my last two. So with literally one HP, I'm able to win this battle. Just Mastiff fight. I did miss that jump shot Mastiff that I like to do because usually they'll miss you, 
and you'll hit them, but I kind of missed it there, but it's fine. I was able to recover. Uh, but that was still a good fight, and I mean, usually, or usually I don't pull out my Hemlock. Hemlock's my secondary in those fights, so if I run out of ammo in my Mastiff or something like that, then I'll switch to my Hemlock. But Mastiff is just so strong at close range, you don't really want to use another gun. But then again, you have to hit your shots with your Mastiff, that's the one thing. Because you'll get punished, especially if the other person has, you know, a Havoc, a Devotion, a Spitfire, those guns that hit a lot and can shoot for a really long time. But that's really just what's going on here. At this point, I got three kills because my teammate took the Gibby away from me. Jibby, however you pronounce it. But yeah, we're chilling at this point. We healed back up and we're ready for the next fight. I think here I was I could hear somebody I'm just looking around for them and I can hear that they're coming down from the bottom so I'm just kind of sitting and waiting Wraith runs up I beam her she's literally like five health but I don't push because I don't want to overcommit and something happens down there so I, I stay high whoever's on the car runs in Wraith runs away and I'm kind of just like trying to get the angle on the octane again keeping height and then Octane sprints by and also teleports a little bit. So, you know, got away from me. And then I just kind of full send here. There's no real strategy here. I just banked on me. I was feeling pretty confident that I could just kill him. So I kind of wait. They take a really good angle. Being on controller and shooting down is the worst thing ever. And then I sort of miss here. My teammate full sends. I fall, but out of storm, I'm still able to get the Octane on the left. Yeah, and as you see here, like, there's already nine squads left. This is just, like, a regular match, so, you know, teams go down really fast. 17 people left, and you could be at this point, like, kind of discouraged or, you know, be like, oh, I'm not going to get at this game. Who cares? But, you know, if you're just looking for damage, like, it literally doesn't matter. Like, if you can find, a, if you can find all these battles, usually in a pub match, everyone's going to converge once they your shots because everyone just wants to fight. No one's trying to get RP. No one's trying to do anything. They're just wanting to fight. So if you can find the little hub, usually that'll wipe so many teams and you'll be in the center of fights and at that point, the only thing you really need to be comfortable with is just consistently fighting and just being ready to, you know, heal, move, reload and, you know, keep your head on a swivel and making sure that you hear where everyone is around you and kind of making just like a mental picture in your head of where you need to sit behind cover, reload if you're trying to, you know, get a lot of damage and you'll see that in a little bit in this clip. So I noticed that there's a lot of fighting going on over there. And me wanting to fight, I'm just gonna take the very long zip line over there. Who cares? I do see someone's running away. I see a team coming out of the lab. And for fun, I just shoot at them. I think I hit them like barely at all. Yeah, 20. Then we roll up here. Get a little bit more ammo. And then I see the guy on the left pushing up. And she tries to 1v1 me, crouching like that, I'm gonna farm you. And then I do what you always have to do is get height. This Octane runs through, I Mastiff him twice. Third time, but I don't get the knock. I do not chase. I stay on height because I want to be aware of my surroundings and I don't want to get pinned down in that tunnel. 
which will happen sometimes. Usually not in pubs, but you know, uh, pubs or not, it's good just building good habits and fights and wherever you are. So here comes another lifeline. I beam her, I switch to the wraith, I knock her. And so I'm gonna push because I know the, the lifeline's super low, but I think the lifeline ran away and then the wraith took the phase runner. So I'm just gonna go back, get position because I'm assuming someone else is coming. And then I hear the zip line and then the rampart jumps off. I hit it for a little bit and then the pass just continues and just gets beamed right off. You do not ever wanna go on a zip line straight at a team. You'll probably get beamed if the player's any good. Rampart just sits at the bottom. I'm fine. I immediately go for the finish on the pathfinder. Easy clap. You want that damage on the knockdown and you want that kill especially if you need ammo you just quickly you know go down to the box get some more ammo loot up try not to get hit so you crouch and then you just take back position and be ready for the next fight so I heal and I think the octane tries to come back for the banner I miss and he just sprints away again And then the, the Wraith eventually comes back through the phase runner. I see her, and then I see the lifeline pop out trying to get the res. I finish her immediately, and then I almost get the lifeline again. And then I hear behind me the ramparts coming. I almost beam her off the zip. I know she's probably like 10, 20 health, so I just slide down and just try and get the long range massive shots because I don't feel like reloading. And I get her because she was super low. And now back up to height as the ring's closing, and we continue. So yeah, this building on this side of the map, uh, in this choke, is very powerful because you, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know, having ultimate height is great. You always want to be the one shooting down at people. So remember guys, this was the lifeline that I almost knocked twice already. She was able to get the Wraith's banner that went through the phase runner and came back. So I clearly know she's just trying to get the res. So I'm pushing because at this point I'm very confident. And I just full send. She's getting the res so I know the Wraith isn't going to have anything. So I know I need to just go and beat the lifeline who's trying to pop a bat I think. And then it was just a massive fight. I hit her for 112. Another one, 14. 70. I immediately go for the finish again because I don't really mind. And then Wraith try to pop in, and my teammate just takes care of her. She really didn't have much. So, this being season 7, we don't yet have the damage counter here. So, I really don't know how much damage I had at this point. If I would have, if I would have had that damage counter already. I probably would have maybe chased the 4k a little harder, but I didn't know. So at this point, I know there's two squads left, so four people, maybe. And I have nine kills, and you know, I want to win the game, and I want double digit kills, and you know, whatever happens, happens. So I think I hear these guys shooting on this other side of this hill. I'm feeling very confident at this point, and I'm just going to full send whatever I hear. I see this guy in the open. I think I'm, I think I crack her, and then I reload, dipping back down to reload, and I pop back up, and then I see the teammate on the open again. I hit him pretty hard. He runs away, and then I'm again looking to try and get hide again on everybody. This is the way you climb up this building quickly. If anyone didn't know, and then I hear a lot of pitter patter under me, and the building under me and the one to my left. And that's conveniently where the last four people were.
So I didn't really see anyone to shoot here. Everyone was playing very safe. I see the box across and I'm like, maybe it has some loot. So I portals across to get an actual angle on everybody. While I've already at this point noticed that the ring's gonna pull up the other way. And if we can just get height on everybody, we're probably gonna be able to just beam everyone as they're rotating in. See, that's where I ping where we need to go because I want us to get into ring and beat the other teams. But the team with a Pathfinder ends up putting a zip across and they sort of beat us to it. And I'm not able to beam the path off the zip. If we could have got a knock here, you know, they fall to their death. One's very low and gets knocked. The Loba gets knocked right at the end. And I push very confidently. But I run into a Havoc. I do hit my shots pretty well. I hit them for like 130-ish. But the path had a, had a Havoc. Other team luckily though pulls up. And my Octane's able to get a res right in the middle. So I Q back to full heal. And the Pathfinder team gets wiped. So now it's a, basically just a 2v2. Other teams like healing out probably and looting. And I'm able to get this Phoenix off. And that makes a difference in this last fight because I'm just better. Again, I got hide on everybody. able to track her to the right I knock her now it's just a 1v2 I see my teammates low and he's popping a Phoenix so I don't overcommit especially after just getting knocked I didn't want to get re-knocked again so and now Octane's ready so now I'm just waiting for Octane to step up or the other other guy to make a move that I can push on I could have queued at them I did think about that but I was just playing safe Octane jumps right I see uh, the Loba tried to queue over, and then I just, for style points, just shot at her. Shot up at her, and then just Mastiff, Mastiff, GG's. And that's how I got 11 kills and 3.6k damage.